It didn't really bother me at all, but it was so sweet. What I can hear is like cicadas and birds. It's so nice. It's a bit of a rough patch, haven't we? Cool. I nearly fell over myself. And we also forgot to mention that we saw a wild boar. Is a pig or a boar? Hey, dude. I think that's going to take us about three and a half hours. One more kilometre. Good morning. It's Sunday today. We are just heading out for some brunch. We're feeling very hungry, we haven't had anything to eat. Um, we've already gone for a little swim this morning. And we are looking for a bit of nature. So after our brunch, we're going to head to uh, the Macritchie Reservoir and the nature trail there. Depending on how hot it is and how we're feeling, we're going to do the full trail, or at least we'll get to explore a little bit around the area. So we've come to a place called Ovary Cafe and Jenny's gone for an acai bowl. I'm waiting for my portobello mushroom toast. We've got some uh, iced coffee. It's really cute here. Jenny was really excited because she wanted some different type of acai bowl. She's always looking for a different type. I love type. a good smoothie bowl. And this one is good. But yeah, it's really cute. It's tiny. It's just like in the Scots Plaza, I think it's called. Yeah, we thought it was going to be like a full, big size cafe based on what we saw on Crab. And it's just like a little like thing at the side, like almost like a pop-up. And uh, food's good. So we're just going to sit here and enjoy this. So I didn't want to say while we were in there, but the stuff that were really sweet, so the when Robbie like ordered his food it took quite a while to climb and we were you know I was like halfway through and, and I'd ordered a mushroom and avocado toast and he came over and he was like I'm so sorry like all of my avocados are bad and I've been like to fair price to try and get a nice one but they're all too ripe but he was like all in a panic about it and Robbie was just like I don't care just give me the mushroom didn't really bother me at all but it was, was so, so sweet so that he like went into the shop and Tried to find one. It's really small and dinky, but they're all really nice and the food's really good, so I think I'd, I'd recommend going there. But now it's like really hot out and we're gonna go on a really long walk, so that's yeah. the typical Rob and Jenny, I think. made it to the reservoir, we think. I guess we'll just find out where to go. I really like taking the bus in Singapore because you get to see everywhere, it's really cheap, they go everywhere, and uh, hopefully it won't be too hot. I just checked, it's 31 degrees, so. We actually wanted to go kayaking, but I think it actually looks closed. And also, if you're not certified, which we don't really know what that means, but you can only go in like this tiny area over in the distance. And the rest of it is like numbered for like racing or something. So we'll have to come back and find a bit more about that one day. First stop along the way is the zigzag bridge. Which... Not really sure what the point of it is. Yeah, I mean, it's cute, but I mean, it makes you look, walk even longer. <laughs> So I'm not sure why you'd want that, but people like to take pictures here and stuff, you know, it's kind of cute. I mean, yeah, it's a bridge that goes in a zigzag, in case the name wasn't obvious. Yeah, so uh, I'm not sure how much more we really have to say about that, to be honest. <laughs> so we're here, we walk from here, down here, and that's taken us about half an hour because I flew the drone. And now we're going to walk all the way down here, all the way around here, around here. I think that's going to take us about three and a half hours. So this part of the trail is called the Lawny Trail and it's really natural. It's like proper walking through a rainforest. No pavement. No which concrete. Is really good. <laughs> Lots of shade from like all the trees, which is also very good. It almost reminds me a bit of Cameron Highlands walking, although much hotter, much hotter and less uh, steep because those were very steep trails. Only just 
hear the cars. Mostly what I can hear is like cicadas and birds. It's so nice. Like I really miss that sound from like all of our hikes when we're traveling. So it feels good to be back. Come on, little lizard. Just chilling. They do run fast and they do hurt when they bite it, as far as I have heard. All right, mate, I'll see you later. There are people jogging. And I mean, me and Robbie are like out of breath, just walking. So I do not know how they're managing that. Maybe we're just very, very unfit. I don't know how we ever did all the hikes that we did on our travels, because we have, after having like stayed inside for a whole year, we are just really seriously unfit now. We are trying to go to the gym. We went three times this week. Yes. So hopefully we'll get fit. You have to hold us accountable so that we actually do it because that will help. we a bit of a rough patch, haven't we? So muddy and I haven't worn the best shoes for this. They're very lacking in grip. Cool. I nearly fell over myself. Yeah, this morning we were like, you know, Rob was like, maybe I'll wear my flip-flops. I was like, yeah, maybe I'll wear my sandals. And then we were like, oh, maybe we should wear our hiking boots, actually, like the ones we used when we did EBC. And then we were like, nah, like this is Singapore. Our experience so far has been that things are generally paved. Clean paved. Or, <laughs> yeah. So we settled for in between and we went for trainers. But actually, you, you really wouldn't be out of place with some walking boots. It would definitely help with the grip on some of the slippy areas. Like that. <laughs> Oh, here, Jen. Look, look at the little harder monitor. Oh, hey, dude. He's having a great time. He's a bit bigger. I don't actually know much about this reservoir. Well, I do know, apparently. <laughs> it's a bit sad, this. Apparently, it all used to be virgin rainforest, and then, like, the 18. 60s, 90s, something like that, the British decided they needed a water source. So they chopped down all the rainforest and then made it into this big reservoir. I think it's now one of the main sources of water for Singapore. We just found a poor, sad, little dead monitor lizard floating in the water. Uh, and lots and lots of turtles or terrapins gobbling him up for their lunch, but I guess that's... Uh, circle of life but we were like oh look he's sunbathing and then we we're like oh no he's dead <laughs> Robbie's tired I'm getting quite hot and uh, there's no benches well there are but we've just walked past all of the benches this is reminiscent of me and Ma actually except ah. you don't have like whatever that was. Me and Ma, when I had the flu and we still tried to go for a wine tasting. That was a good idea, wasn't it? I enjoyed myself. <laughs> Singapore definitely likes its rules. Started here. We've gone all the way around here, around here, around here, around here. The tower, unfortunately, was closed. Now we're going to go all the way around here and then down back to where we started. Yeah, we see monkeys and we also forgot to mention that we saw a wild boar um, before as well. We did get some shots of it. Uh, it was just kind of having a little look at us while we were having a little look at him. It was cool. One more kilometre. We made it! We made it 11k! Yeah. It was a long way. We're very hot, very tired. It is definitely worth it. Yeah, you can see monkeys, you can see pigs, loads of lizards, loads of greenery. It's like a little reset for living in the city, which is really good. Yeah. A lot of time you just don't hear any cars, you don't hear anything except for like the nature and the bugs and everything. So. Definitely worthwhile, but we are now going to get into an air-conditioned taxi, get home, have a shower and then head out to dinner because we're both absolutely starving. But hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, leave us a comment, we read all of them. And, and reply to pretty much all of them as well. We do. So 
We'll see you again next week. Bye. Bye.